We are going to do number five. It says, a pure titanium cube has an edge length of 0.973 feet. Uh, and it asks, how many titanium atoms, Ti, uh, does the cube contain? So I've drawn a picture, because pictures always help me. I have my cube of titanium. Now, uh, in order to answer this question, let's do two things. Let's list our knowns, and let's also find out what we're looking for. We're looking for atoms. How many atoms are in this titanium cube? Now, let's develop a little plan of action. How are we going to get from our knowns to our to our answer? Well, okay. Uh, what do I know? I know how how long my uh, one edge of this cube is, and I'm eventually trying to get all the way over here to atoms. Atoms of titanium. From this edge length, I can I can get volume of this cube. I can find out uh, the total volume of it by this equation, the volume of a cube, length times width times height, because I know uh, one of these edge lengths. And since it's a cube, what happens to all these edges? They're all the same. So it's 0.973 times itself three times. All right, I know volume now. All right. Um, we're going to crunch the numbers in a minute, but for now, we'll just develop our plan of action. So from the volume, what next can I go to? Well, I was given density. It, it actually said it in the problem, I didn't mention it, but off in parentheses. It says the density of titanium is 4.5 grams per, per centimeters cubed. This is a conversion between volume and mass. So I can go from my volume to how much mass of titanium is in this whole cube. Okay, how can I get even closer to atoms? If I know the mass, I could get moles of titanium. I could do that uh, through, the, through the molar mass, grams per mole of titanium. And actually, I didn't put over here, how do we go from volume to mass, volume to grams? I do that through density. All right, and finally, how can I go from moles to atoms? I can go from moles to atoms through Avogadro's number. That's the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd deal. All right, so there's the plan. It looks sufficient. Now let's try it. Um, I'm given my edge length of 0.973 feet. I'm going to use my equation for volume. Uh, to, to give me volume. So I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to cube it. That's the same as saying this times itself times itself again, three times. Alright, so I get 0 0.9212 cubic feet. Notice how whenever I cube my feet, it actually turns into cubic feet. Uh, if I ever have this, this unit of length and it's cubed, that means volume. That's a unit of volume now. All right? So I have my volume. Step one is done. Now I need to go to mass. I can do that by way of uh, density. Okay? So here I go. I'm going to take my, uh, my volume, and I'm going to multiply. I'm multiplying this number by the density. 4.50 grams per centimeters cubed. All right. But you notice that my feet cubed will not cancel my centimeters cubed down here. Again, I have this, this unit of length cubed, so this is a unit of volume, just like up here. But feet cubed won't cancel centimeters cubed, so what do we do? I need to throw in another conversion factor that tells me how many centimeters cubed there are in one foot cubed or how many feet cubed there are in one centimeter cubed, doesn't matter. Now, I don't know that off the top of my head, so we're going to have to derive it. All right, let's have some fun doing this. Look at the top of the test. It says that uh, in, in one inch there are 2.54 centimeters, and 12 inches there's a foot. This is potentially useful information? Definitely. This is very useful information. All right, um, so let's start off with the 2.54 centimeters. 
2.54 centimeters in one inch. Okay, that's the conversion that they gave me. But what I'm doing here is separate from what I, uh, what we were covering just a minute ago. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this conversion factor is. So I I plug in 2.54 centimeters over one inch, and now I need to go from inches to feet down here. Why from inches to feet? Because once these inches cancel, I'm left with centimeters over feet, which is what I need up here, centimeters over feet. We'll worry about the cube in a minute. How many inches in a foot? It tells you, 12 inches in a foot. Okay. But now, after I punch this out, I get 2.54 times 12. I get 30.48 uh, centimeters in a foot. Okay. But I'm looking for centimeters cubed in, f in feet cubed. So I'm going to take this whole conversion factor and I'm going to cube it. Okay. So actually cube your 30.48 here. Wow. And I get uh, 28,316 0.85 centimeters cubed per foot cubed. That's a pretty realistic answer because a centimeter, a centimeter cubed is very small while a foot cubed is a foot by foot by foot box. Alright, good. So here's the number that I'm going to be plugging in for this conversion. Uh, 28,316 0.85 centimeters cubed and one foot cubed. Good. All right, make sure you got this. Pause the tape. I'm about to erase it if you still need this conversion. Goodbye. Good. So now I'm at centimeters cubed. Or, sorry, centimeters cubed cancel. And now I am at my feet cancel, feet cubed cancel. Now I'm at grams. Good. So now I'm at my mass. But now I need to go to moles. So I need to find out how many grams per mole I have of titanium, because this box is made out of titanium. All right. In uh, one mole of titanium, there's 44, no, 47.88 grams of titanium. Grams would cancel, and now I have moles of titanium. So again, I'm following my, my map here. I, I'm at moles. Now I need to go to atoms of titanium. How do I do that? I use Avogadro's number. In one mole of anything, I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay, punch all that out. 0 0.9212 times this, times that, divided by that, times that, and you get your answer, which is uh, 1.48 times 10 to the 27th atom.